What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about my first trimester with this baby um, and kind of comparing it to my first pregnancy. So this pregnancy has been so different compared to Paisley. I have been way less sick. I literally forget that I'm pregnant sometimes. Um, the first trimester was hard. I feel like all, like they're always hard, I feel like but it was not nearly as hard as it was with Paisley. I am currently 20 weeks, so I am well out of the first trimester, but I just wanted to kind of talk about the things that helped me this time around with pregnancy. I tried a couple different things, so I definitely want to talk about that. So I started getting nauseous probably around like six weeks again. First thing that I did was put on my C-bands. <laughs> I'm like, these things, like I was wearing them throughout my entire first trimester and a little bit into the second trimester. And I just barely recently like took them off and have started feeling like I don't need to wear them. I feel like those make a huge difference for me and my body and my body can tell when I'm not wearing them. The last time I threw up was probably around 15 or 16 weeks and it was the first day that I decided to not wear them. And so I like immediately put them back on because I was like, no, thank you. Um, and so I really think they do a lot for me. With Paisley, I started getting sick around six weeks and I was sick every single day and I threw up every single day, multiple times a day. I had a really hard time keeping food down until like 20 weeks. And this pregnancy has been like the complete opposite almost. I've felt very nauseous since six weeks and it kind of ended around that 15 mark. I feel like I've been a lot more prepared. So this time I tried a couple of different things. The first thing I tried were these preggy pop drops and people just say like this will help you feel like you don't like need to throw up or it'll kind of sometimes like with pregnancy you have like a weird taste in your mouth a lot of the time and so those like would help um, take away that taste or take away the dry mouth or it's supposed to help you just like not feel as nauseous and i'll say they helped at the beginning and then they kind of didn't help as much but i mean you can tell there's like there's four in here so like i used oh there's 48 pieces so you can do the math <laughs> i did use a lot of them um and then i tried these dramamine nausea ginger chews i just got these from amazon and they're like lemon honey and ginger flavored and so these actually helps me a ton like i kid you not i think it because it has the drama mean in it. it's non-drowsy it's not supposed to make you drowsy um i feel like these made me drowsy a couple times but they helped my morning sickness like crazy i would take one of those and i did not throw up so those helped me a lot but the thing about them is i hate the taste of them and i hate the texture of them and so it was like it had to be like a really like nauseous feeling for me to like actually get me t to take them because i did not like them at all but they worked and so i would take them like on road trips a lot. And then the last thing that I tried with this pregnancy were the peppermint Altoids. Cause with Paisley, I kind of just did like the Lifesavers or the Starlight candies that were peppermint flavored. And those helped me, but I feel like these ones have helped a little bit better. And they also help a lot with like after you eat, getting like the taste out of your mouth. And I feel like in pregnancy like the the taste kind of lingers like after you eat like your food lingers and it just like it's really gross so those have helped me a lot with this pregnancy i like have been shocked about how different this one has been compared to paisley's pregnancy because i was so sick with paisley and i like i can't even <laughs> Like, it's so crazy to think about, like, how sick and how miserable I was with Paisley compared to this pregnancy. But like I said, I've only had, like, a handful of days that have been, like, 
really bad and that meaning like throwing up multiple times during the day or not being able to keep down food or just like things bothering me that whole day there's only been a handful of those days and there's only been probably like two or three days where i've just been like in bed don't feel good can't get up like having a really hard time that day so there's definitely been way less like of that compared to paisley because i was so sick with her and with paisley i worked a part-time job and i also worked my internship at the same time so i was working technically two jobs while i was pregnant with paisley and i feel like i would have been able to like do that better with this pregnancy because it hasn't like affected me as much so another difference is that i have started showing like way earlier than with paisley and i probably started showing around like 13 or 14 weeks and just like for me like i could tell that i was like getting bigger where with paisley like i really didn't look like i was getting a bump until like 18 to 20 weeks but i'm like a lot bigger at 20 weeks right now than i was with paisley kind of i feel like this is kind of hard to show it but that's my 20 week bump this one makes me so mad <laughs> but one of the differences with this pregnancy is that i have gotten stretch marks already and with paisley i actually didn't get any stretch marks until i was about six or seven weeks postpartum and so with paisley i didn't have any until afterwards and this pregnancy i had um i've been having stretch marks show up probably around the beginning of my second trimester right at the end of my first trimester um but they're all over my upper thighs they're red <laughs> and they're all over my thighs and my hips and i also don't feel like i'm like stretching in those areas that i'm getting stretch marks so it's like just a whole new experience for me i don't know so with this pregnancy during the first trimester i noticed i was like hungry all the time but i didn't want to eat anything but i like knew i needed to eat so that i wouldn't like throw up or anything and so i was always like trying to figure out like what i can eat so i don't throw up so that is my first trimester with this pregnancy the next video will hopefully be our gender reveal mm -hmm.